we're going to build our first Hello World in JavaFX. To do this, I'm going to create a new project. And when you first go in, you can create a JavaFX uh, project. And what that'll do is it'll actually give you a default um, uh, main method and a default uh, FX file and a default controller. So I'm not going to do that because I want you to see how to actually build them uh, from scratch. So the first thing you need to look at is your project software development kit. Now I have several versions on my, on my machine. I've had great success with version 8, which they show is 1.8. Um, <clears throat> that one has everything nicely bundled together, um, where the JavaFX files are embedded in with the, J the JDK. I've had great success. Those just always seem to work nice and easy. I've also had great success with 14. Um, I have had a lot of problems uh, with, with uh, people using 11. 11 seems to be a little clunky for some reason. I don't, I don't know the why. But I'm going to start off uh, doing it in 14 because it would be a little bit more complex. And we'll go next. And again, I'm just going to leave this all blank so that we can do it ourselves. Next. And we need to give it uh, a name. So I'm going to uh, call this... Uh, Java FX Hello World and finish. So it's going to create a normal Java program, same as what we're used to. The difference here is now when I do a right click on SRC, I'm going to go to New, and rather than just go to Java class, I also have this option of an FXML file. Um, <clears throat> The fxml file is where you are going to lay out your view. So let's start with that. And I'm going to call this Hello World. And you see when it first comes up, um, it comes up in XML, but you'll also notice some of the words are in red. And that means that the compiler doesn't know what to do with these terms. And if you go up to File, Project Structure, what we have to do is we have to add in the JavaFX library. So I'm going to say plus. If you're using version 8, or the one that shows as 1.8, you will not have to do this step. I'm going to go to Java, and you find wherever you stored your JavaFX um, uh, files, and you're going to navigate down to the lib for the library and say OK. I, uh, I also have a couple just off my desktop. Um, just make sure you store them. If it comes as a zip file, just extract it somewhere that's easy for you to find. And I say OK and apply. And now we can see that these, these JavaFX files are part of my um, part of my class or part of my project. I say OK. And when I come back into my FXML scene, you can see that it's uh, no longer got all the red. It recognizes what's an anchor pane, all these different JavaFX classes and whatnot. Now, the only thing that's still got in red is called the controller. It says hello world and it's, and it's currently red because if I look here in my files, I don't have a controller. This is my view, but I do not have a controller. So if I go right click, new Java class, and I'm gonna type in hello world. Now I like to add the word controller on here so that I know explicitly the purpose of this class and say OK. And if I go back in here and say controller, now my FXML is happy and my controller class is happy. And then the last thing I need to do is have some kind of a way to launch this. So I'm going to say main, so I'll have my main class. And with JavaFX, what we're doing is we are um, creating a custom application. So we're going to say here is extends the application class. And I'll do my import. And then the application class needs to have a method called start. This is an abstract method in that parent class. So all I'm going to do is right click, or sorry, alt enter, and I can implement the methods. And it says start, say so, okay. 
So now I have the start method and everything's happy. I mean, it doesn't really do anything just yet, but everything's happy. So I'll put in my main method here. And all I have to do in here is say a launch. And this will launch our application. Now, if I run this, it's not going to do much. So you see it's running. I can see my, I can stop it, but nothing comes up, nothing shows. So I hit stop. The reason it's doing that is this launch method will call start and it'll wait basically until you close the application. Well, we have nothing in the start method, so it's, it's just, it's just alive. Uh, there's nothing there. So we need to tell the computer how to load this FXML file. Let's uh, make this a little smaller here. So I'll say parent. And I like to call this the root equals FXML loader. Now the FXML loader is a special class, as the name suggests, to load FXML files. And to load our file, we're going to use load. To get the um, to get it to load this file, what we're going to do is we'll say get class. Okay. So what that means is it's telling the main method to get the class that we're in, right? Um, that puts us in the same directory, basically. And then we're going to get the resource. So this allows it to load a file. And in here, we're going to put the file name. So basically, look in this directory, and we're going to load hello world.fxml. So at this point, we've loaded the FXML and it will do all of its little checks. It'll figure out, you know, when it loads, it's got the FXML is connected to the controller, right? So this, it'll, it'll do these cross checks and whatever when it goes to load it. If you spell the controller name wrong, this is where it'll give you an error um, when, you, uh, when you go to run this. And the next thing we're going to do is to create a scene. So in JavaFX, uh, rather than call things a window uh, and panes on a window, they went with sort of a, you know, a Broadway play kind of motif. So everything's on a stage and there's scenes that go onto the stage. So you can see the application passes in a stage object that we can use. Uh, so we create a scene. We just need to import our scene here. So I'm going to do Alt Enter, import the class. So now, <clears throat> remember, root has the FXML file and all the connections to the controller in it. And then we're going to create a scene based on that. And then all we have to do is we say to the stage, set the scene. And it's the scene that we just created. So now the stage has a scene. And all we have to do is actually just show it. So at this point, if I hit play, it should just launch a little window for us. So there we go. Pretty boring and plain. It's got a, a generic icon, no title, nothing. We can easily add in things like um, stage dot set the title to be Hello world. As you can see it there. And now let's go put something into our scene. So if I go back to my FXML file, this is really what the FXML file looks or is in terms of text. But if I click on scene builder, it will launch the scene builder inside of uh, IntelliJ. Um, it's also good to use the external one downloadable by, I believe it's called Gluon. Um, I find it to be a little more reliable. And on the left-hand side are things we can drag into our scene. And on the right-hand side is how we configure those objects. So let's just do something really simple. Uh, let's put a button here. And let's put a click 
me. And if I want, I can make the font uh, bigger. Because remember, I drag it in from the left, configure on the right. So, I don't know, size 24. That looks nice. And <clears throat> if we want to center this a little bit better, um, actually, let's just do I'll add a label here. So a button, as the name suggests, is a button. And a label is really just text. Uh, you can also add images to a label, uh, but typically it's, it's just text. So uh, I've got my label. And if I go down to, actually, you know what? For just a hello world, let's keep it real simple. Oh. I'll just have a button. And I'm going to say wrap in the stack pin. So that should center it, right? So there we go. Just a click me button. And then I'm going to go to my controller. Remember, it's a model. Uh, well, we don't have a model in this case, but a view and a controller. So the controller is what interacts with our uh, our view. So if I launch it right now, we'll have a button. It says click me, but it doesn't do anything when I click it. So let's build a simple little method. Public void. Ah, uh, button clicked, and we'll just do hello world to the console. So in my view, if I click on my button, and on the right, again, is where I can configure things. So I go to code, and there's this on action. So if there's action on this button, I can call a, a method. Sometimes it will uh, have a little drop down for you, but it's not seeing it right now. So I'll just copy this. It's one action. Oh, now, now it sees it. Button clicked. So now, if someone clicks that button, it should call that method, which should print hello world in the browser or in the console. And there it is. So every time I click it, I should see another hello world. So there you go. We've had a very simple, small hello world get you going uh, in JavaFX.